Yeah, as you know, Foster, what we we have invented in Zimbabwe, it is called a microsonic energy device. And 70% of the components in the microsonic energy device are tailor-made, meaning to say that uh, you cannot get them anywhere over the counter. This is a, a recipe which uh, God gave me hmm. in order to make those components. They harness radio frequencies and convert it straight into pure, useful energy. Uh, as you can see, the machine that I'm demonstrating with today, it is a 50 kilowatts, 50 kW, uh, with an output of the ma maximum 320 amps per each phase. It is a three-phase machine. Uh, we have managed to accomplish this with uh, the use of a radio frequency. I think this is something that uh, Nikolai Tesla said uh, when he started the journey of trying to transmit energy using radio frequency. And that time people thought maybe he was crazy or something. I'm happy that he said that was uh, ahead of, of, of his time that time. So I would want to believe that we have managed to accomplish the work that he started back then. Uh, a lot of people have tried to use radio frequencies uh, to power devices such as cell phones. But as you know, radio frequencies, they are usually measured in microns, very little energy. So we are the first people in the world to have successfully done that at high scale. Like uh, you remember when you visited Zimbabwe to validate the greener power upgrade machine, we demonstrated a 50, a 500 kilowatts. So it's just mind blowing to know what a radio frequency uh, can do and what energy it carries. So I'll be demonstrating this kind of this machine today. Thank you. Yeah, thank you so much. It's wonderful for the world to get to see. So please go ahead and show us. The machine has got different uh, parts, and I'll try to just uh, explain in brief, apart from the microsonic energy device, which is the main part of the machine, the one that harness radio frequency, convert it into DC current. Um, in the DC current, we have got what we call a down converter and a DC controller. The DC controller, then it is carefully managed with a microcontroller, which is the onboard computer in the machine. The microcontroller, analyzes the, the direct current uh, energy that has been generated in the microsonic energy that is about to go to the inverter side so that we can change it to, to AC current. Uh, that process is done with the computer because it varies usually depending with the load. The machine is very intelligent. It analyzes how much load or how much voltage and amperage which is being drawn from the machine. That is carefully adjusted now and again by the microcontroller. So from the inverter side, uh, we have got like the filters, which help us to clean the energy so that it can be 100% pure sine wave. Like here in Zimbabwe, uh, we use 220 volts, which is the single phase, and the, our um, uh, frequency has to be 50 hertz. Thank you okay. very much for that Thank introduction for to the machine. Can you say a little bit about your vision of uh, the future of this machine in the world? Okay, thank you very much, uh, Foster, for a very good question. As you can see, we decided to demonstrate the machine in this kind of a place. This area is, is called Maranatha. There is no electricity. So we decided to come, to come here so that we can demonstrate a... Uh, how the machine work and uh, as you can see this whole building it is a test it is being powered with the greener power upgrade machine everything in it and uh, my vision goes along those lines trying to give energy to the rem most neglected or remote parts of the world uh, like i have said to you before that when god gave me this vision i was in a clinic in a rural area and there was no medication because there was no electricity they in the vision uh, someone was saying that there was supposed to be medication in, in, in a refrigerator, but because there was no energy, it was very impossible. People were dying. 
So that's that's how the technology, the invention was birthed. So my vision is to give energy, free energy to everyone in the world, mainly to those who are in the most uh, disadvantaged parts of the world. When you look like at Africa, it is called the dark continent, not necessarily because we are backward, but because we don't have energy. When you fly at night in Africa, there is nothing. It's completely dark. When you cross the Atlantic in the United States of America, you see that there is a lot of, 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 of energy there. So I would be very happy to see this uh, dream coming to pass. A lot of students are studying using uh, paraffin-powered lamps. With this invention, uh, we can change that. Like right now in the corona pandemic, as you can see, a lot of children are not going to school. Some of them are in rural areas. Uh, if the technology like this was being uh, used in rural areas, uh, children were supposed to be having uh, uh, internet lessons, uh, online lessons, and things like that. So that's my vision. Not necessarily mean to make money, but to help and try to serve the world. Also, to add on, as you know, as everyone knows, this is not a, 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 a hidden thing. We are polluting a lot the beautiful planet that God gave us from different emissions, industries, and things like that. So this technology, as I said, it is a green technology. It will help a lot to save the, the environment, to save the, the earth from all those pollutions. We took the invention, integrated it into an into a electric vehicle, and we, we made the first vehicle in the world that doesn't need any external recharging system, meaning to say that the, the distance is unlimited. You don't have a driving range. You can just drive as, as long as you are still fit to drive. So you can see, I think, the impact that we can save the world. And apart from that, this is free energy. So the, the, the cost will come to nothing. That's a beautiful. There are no running costs as compared. <laughs> That's a beautiful vision. Thank you for sharing that. And we're thrilled to be able to help get that message out to the world. Let me get really practical for a moment now, just for our audience to be clear. So this device that we're looking at is currently running the building that you are in? Is that right? Yes, yes, you are very correct. And right now I can just do a quick demonstration so that you can see I'll try to power this electric stove from DeFi uh, so that at least you can see the, the capability of the machine, that the machine it, it needs uh, equipment that draws a lot of energy. Right. Okay, that would be great. Yeah. Okay, so right now I'm going to switch on an electric stove. Uh, I'll try to slant it so that you can see. Uh, so I'll try to power all the, the plates, and you will see... This is a four plate stove, as you can see. Yeah, you can see that all the plates are, are becoming red. Yes, it's a yeah. hot plate. Maybe the so you can see that this is. Yeah, <laughs> have them move the camera a little bit slowly so we don't get too dizzy. All okay, right. okay, yeah. great. Okay, okay, he's just trying to come very close so that you can see. It's 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 now hot as you can see. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So you can see that this technology it is just amazing. Solar panel can not do this kind of work. Uh, if we, we were talking of maybe batteries, you will see that we were going to be using a very huge battery bank and we were going to destroy the batteries. But the machine does wonders. Well, let's talk about that for a moment because a lot of people might be thinking, well. If you've got batteries there, then of course you're going to have power. So what's the deal with uh, how long could you run this machine? Okay, this machine, it has got, I have to switch it on because of the heat, it's now too much. I'm getting hot. Uh, the machine, the life expectancy we're talking of around 25 years, uh, the life of the machine. And as we switch it on right now, we can run perpetually. 
uh, until I don't know, uh, as long as, uh, as you want. This is um, a continuous 24-7 a device, meaning to say that you can use it 24 7 uh, 24 hours a day and seven days a week you don't have winter you don't have the night you don't have uh, rain seasons those are some of the disadvantages for solar this machine keep on running oh, fantastic wow well congratulations to you and your whole team i know i was privileged to meet your whole team when i was there and it's amazing work that that you have done and people will be able to go to our website and get continued updates on how they can find out how they can participate in various ways uh, in the future in this amazing project. Exactly the same way. And so I think yeah. I'm the one to say thank you for, for coming to Zimbabwe that time. Uh, thank you, Max. Goodbye, Max.